Welcome to the opening trade. Today we are going over our brand new three-step manual trading system that identifies momentum thanks to our proprietary new indicators. It helps traders like you to enter day trades in the futures markets without guessing. But before we dive into the system, it's important to understand the risks involved in futures trading. This video is for educational purposes only and not financial advice. Always ensure you are understanding the risks and take appropriate measures to manage them. See our description for a link to other disclosures involving risks associated with financial markets. You can lose all your money. This system is a mean reversion system that looks to capitalize on confirmed momentum. Before taking a color signal from the three-step system, the trade direction must be filtered against the 200 period EMA. To use this system, first set the chart data series to a three minute candle. You would do that here at the top. Or if it's already set that, if yours is not, you're going to click on it and put it on a three minute. We choose to trade after the New York session has started. This allows for adequate volume. Trend filtering with a moving average is our chosen approach. When price is extended far below the 200 period EMA in relation to recent price action, signals are filtered to only accept long or green signals. If the price is extended far above the 200 period EMA in relation to the recent price action, signals are filtered to only accept short or red signals. So here we see a lot of red signals currently up here with some green ones, but this is a lot of red. Once trend filtering has been consulted, the user can continue to consult the three signals together for confluence amongst the independent steps, meaning all steps given the same color signal at the same time. It is important to note that entering in the middle of a trend is not recommended and you should wait for a fresh signal. Where you are present for the move away from the 200 period EMA and then witness the color change signaling the reversion back to the mean or again in this case you target the 200 period EMA. Step 1. This trading system follows three steps. Starting with an exponential moving average of the price action. We refer to this as step one. So we're looking for red and green candles after they have closed. So once this candle closed, I already I am going to see if it turns red or green. So the next step is to the next step is a moving average plotted on the top of the RSI. This is referred to as step two. So we're looking here in this box to see if it's red and green. And we want step one and step two to be the same color. And if this closes in green, I see down here step two is green. Then I'm going to hit the bar by market here. The last step is a moving average on the CMF. This is referred to as step three, and all three steps are color-coded to always show either red or green, where green is a move to the upside and red is a move to the downside. All right, so that candle closed in green, and my step two is green. I'm going to move this just below the the lowest swing there and bring my green down to the 200 point, the 200 period EMA. So now I can uh, relax for a second because the next thing I'm looking at is to see this hit $200. And again, that is my own personal choice. I'm going to wait until that hits $200. Let's 
once it hits two hundred dollars I am going to move my red line up. So once I see the indicator of this, once this box hits $200, then I'm going to um, grab this red line and I'm going to move it up. And where am I going to move it up to, are you thinking? So for me, I like to use uh, this little system in my head where the first time I move it, it's going to be um, 20 points behind, where 20 ticks, my bad, behind the market. So I saw it be 200. So I'm going to go 20 ticks here, or as close as I can get my mouse. To do it behind the market. Now from here, once I see it hit 10 over the current red line, I'm going to move it up to anything above 10. I'm going to move it up to stay behind it by 10. And that is just my personal choice. Because that's what I feel comfortable with, and you should do what you feel comfortable with as well. So again, I'm watching it to see where it's going. There we go. I'm going to move it up. To, oh, if I can get my mouse to work. One more. Ah. All right. Close enough. We know it went up there. It was up there at one point. All right, so we're closely watching this one. And once it sees, so that candle just closed and it closed in a green. And the, that is wonderful. And we see step two is green which we want to see. And then there we go. Step three is green, which is even more of an indicator that we're moving in the right direction. So once I see this number go up to more, then I'm going to move my red bar up. And again, I'm doing it. Pet. There we go. I choose to do it. 10 behind, you can choose to do it as many as you're comfortable with. Okay, so here we are. We're still seeing the candle is still open. Our step two is green. Our step three is green. To me, that I would think that the candle would close green. So we're getting prepared because once we see, oh, if it comes down and hits the red line, that's totally fine. We're still in profit. So it is getting close. So we're waiting to see which way it is going to go. We see that step two is green and that step three is green. And there we go. We're getting in there. It moved up. So I'm going to move mine up. Hopefully. Relatively 10 point. 10 tick. I'm sorry, I'm just behind. All right, so we're in an open candle now, and I like to keep it pretty close. I like when I see that step two is still green and step three is still green. So I'm watching the open candle here. 
it looks like it's going to move up, so I'm getting ready to move my red. There we go. And then move my red bar up as well. And I'm trying to stay pretty close to where the market is. That's my personal um, choice. That's what I feel comfortable doing. So I'm going to move it up again. Or if I could manage my mouse properly. <laughs> All right. So, again, I'm trying to stay uh, 10 ticks from the current market. And, um, you know, if I get right at 10, awesome. If I get it at 9, that's just as good in my book as well. Uh, do what you're comfortable with, right? Always. So I like that I'm checking down here. Step two is green. Step three is green. So I'm watching that. I'm watching the open tick. It looks like it's going to hopefully go up to that uh, green bar. That's where I would like it to go, closer to the 200 period EMA is what I'm aiming for while trailing my um, red bar just 10 ticks from the current market. And that's my personal choice. Do what is comfortable for you. So here is it's bouncing around. It's going up, it's going down, it's going up, it's going down. I keep getting excited, like, oh, I get to move my red bar, but then it goes back down. All right, so I'm checking step two is green. Step three is green. We're getting close. Again, it is wiggling around there. So uh, it's actually quite fun for me to watch this all right <laughs> and then doing it again so don't forget always understand the risks involved and take appropriate measures to manage them okay so there we go getting close getting my mouse ready Step two and three are green. I'm waiting for that. Uh, oh, it's, it's just dancing around there. All right. So, you know, it does that sometimes. Okay, so that candle closed green. Oh, and there we go. There was the move we wanted. And I'm going to move. Follow it up. Oh, if I was clicking the right thing, I'd be following it up. So even if you click the wrong, you see I had a second to correct it. And I still got to move my uh, red line up. And... I'm still okay with where I moved it. Make sure you know what your buttons are doing on your mouse. <laughs> That's always helpful. All right, so we're getting really close to our green bar here. You see our green and our red bar are pretty close together. So there's not much room left here. And once it goes up and hits the green, which the indicator is looking like it will, so step two is green, step three is green. Our last four bars were, our last four candles were green, and we're currently in an open candle here. So, once the candle moves up enough 
for my liking, I will move up my uh, red line as well. And the red line is your stop loss. So if it comes down and hits that, it will close the trade. And again, I kept stop mine, real, which is what just happened. So it came down, it closed the trade. Um, it was a winner, which is great. I kept mine closed, um, and I'm totally happy with that. And that's it. By following these steps, you can use this trading system to ident identify momentum and enter day trades in the futures market. Just remember, always understand the risks involved and take appropriate measures to manage them. Thank you for watching.